Hey guys, Jim here, Redo Banshee Parts and Accessories, and we got another awesome hack video, tutorial video for you here. And what we're gonna talk about today, this comes up all the time. And uh, you know, the whole four mil stroker thing is a kind of a buzzword around the Banshee industry, or seven mil, or 10 mil. But I think the challenge is that some people think they have a four mil, but they don't really know what that is exactly. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you if you're ever gonna go buy a bike or if you ever bought one and someone said it was a four mil or whatever, I'm gonna show you exactly how to know for sure if you bought a four mil, if you're buying a four mil, and it's an easy hack. All you need is a number two pencil like this with an eraser on it, you can get one, it doesn't matter. Um, and either a set of calipers or even a tape measure, but a tape measure is not as accurate, okay? All we're gonna do when someone's talking about a four mil or they're talking about a seven mil or 10 mil, they're talking about the length of the stroke, not the length of the rods, but the length of the stroke from top dead center to bottom dead center. So all we're gonna do, I can show you how to measure this on a, mm -hmm. on a complete motor, okay? You don't have to take your motor apart to know whether you've got a stroke or not. And in fact, it's easier if the motor is together. So I'm gonna show you a quick little trick here on how to do it. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take this pencil, okay? Eraser side down, and you want a long one so that it doesn't fall down in the cylinder hole, right? And you're just going to put it in the cylinder hole, and you're going to uh, you're going to turn this motor over to top dead center, so you can see here. Now, if you're using a kicker, sometimes it's a little harder, but you're going to take it and you're going to see. Oh, I'll show you this way so you can see the numbers moving up and down. See where that's low. There's top dead center, about right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take my pen here. And I'm just gonna make a mark on this pencil, okay? This is top dead center. I'm just gonna take my, pencil, my, my pen and I'm gonna make a mark about right here on the pencil, okay? Now this is a little crude, but it works. There we go, okay? That looks like about top dead center. All right, now we're just gonna roll this motor down. You see how the pencil's going down? We're gonna take it down to bottom dead center Okay, that's bottomed out. Now it's starting to come back up here, so we're gonna roll it back down to bottom. That's about right there. And we're gonna make another mark on the pencil. Okay. Now, do you see the pencil? See how there's two marks on that pencil? Okay, top dead center and bottom dead center. All we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our calipers on and we're just gonna measure the distance between top dead center and bottom dead center. That's gonna give us the length of our stroke, okay? Now, I got my caliper set to millimeters here. Stock stroke on a Banshee is 54 millimeters from top dead center to bottom dead center. A four mil stroker is 58 millimeters, so just four millimeters longer, okay? So check this out. We're just gonna measure this. And we've got, now I know for a fact that this is a stock stroke because I put this motor together. So we're just gonna measure these two marks, right? Put it on the marks. And you see what we got there? We got 54 point, and this isn't gonna be exact, but it gives you an idea. If it's, if it's 50, you know, four, then it's a stock stroke, right? Now, I have a four mil stroker motor next to this one here, and I'll show you the difference in the marks, all right? So, we're gonna put this bad boy in. Now, I'll show you how to do this with a kicker. With a kicker, it's a little harder because you can't get exactly top dead center. So, we're gonna roll it over. And you just gotta be, you gotta kinda just be real gentle here until you get it to top dead center. Okay, there we go, it's up a little higher. Okay, it's about right there. It's exactly where our other top dead center mark is because that's just the way it works, so. Okay, but now bottom dead center is gonna be, gonna be lower. So we're gonna come down here to bottom dead center. Okay, so now we're already past our mark. And that, that's about bottom dead center right there. Because if I go any further, it's going to start moving the pencil up. So I'm going to just make a mark right here at the spark plug hole. Okay. Do you see the difference? See, this was our old mark, and that's our new mark. Now let's measure this difference. It should be 58 millimeters. So here's my calipers. And we've got... Bottom, de top dead center, and bottom dead center. Well, it says 59, but it's 58, so. 
It's close enough, right? Because the, you know, the pin, I can't get the pin exactly in there, but if it's, obviously if it's more than 54, <laughs> now if you're doing a seven mil, it's gonna be 61 millimeter stroke. If you're doing a 10 mil, it's gonna be 64 millimeter stroke and so on and so forth, but you get the idea. This is an easy hack you can do in the field. If you're going to look at a bike and you don't, and someone says it's a four mil, and you're like, hey, I wanna make sure that it is, bring you one of these number two pencils, pop the spark plug out, and just put it down in there, and, uh, and measure top dead and bottom dead center, and you'll know right away. And that's how you do it, guys. So there's your hack for today. We got many more of these coming your way. Talk to you later.